Hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Horse FM and in today's video we'll be looking at a 442 tactic that I'm working with at Neary City in the Dansk Premier League. This is Dansk, right? Danske, Dansk Premier League in Northern Ireland and according to the Dansk Premier League, Neary City are predicted to finish in dead last so the idea is to try to get them as high up the table as possible using this aggressive 442 tactic and it's a retro tactic created by Kadoni known as the Oedipus 442 tactic it's actually created for football manager 2020 so for FM 2023 it does work to some degree um, but I'm going to make some tweaks to the tactic to fit Neary City's predicaments because they're not the best team they're not Bayern Munich they're not Chelsea We'll see how our tweaks can help them defend better and help them get higher up the division with this Oedipus 442 tactic. The current record that I have with the current tactic that I'm looking at, there's a mid Ulster Cup here. I don't know if it's a friendly cup. Okay, according to my board, it's not important, but we're currently in the final of that competition. And the Beth McLean Cup, we got knocked out in the second round. Northern Irish Cup, I think we're still in that one, is still going on. And the Dance Premier League were higher up in the division as first and then we started to drop. So there's going to be some tweaks to and help us get better with this tactic. And looking at the team's most goals so far, Corley Rain actually has the highest. Linfield, though predictive, win the league, are in second place. And then Balimina United, 32. New City AFC are in there as well with 30 goals. So we, as much as we're scoring a lot of goals, we're also conceding quite a number of goals as well and then looking at the highest amount of possession we are in 6 with 49 and the tactic not being so much of a possession based tactic it could be something we could look into most points per game we're not in there a lot because we have as much as we're conceding what as much as we're scoring goals or conceding goals so we need to work on how we can go on to tweak that and i'm going to use the data hub as the first point of call to try and see where i can go on to tweak my tactics the summary is that our analysis indicates that we're extremely very shaky in defense although we're good in attack so most of the changes have to come in the defensive side of the game we're not going to really touch more what we do in attack and then looking at most points per game or most goals per game 1.88 but we're just conceding the same amount of goals so it's like you're scoring and then conceding and then we're just like giving us a balance so not very helpful we need to work on our defending and then looking at our team's defending in general see what we're lacking in defense we can see that Neary City though we're shaped in the white triangles I'll be the white hexagon <laughs> And the thing we do best in defense is to make clearances and we're not even near half what other teams do in the league. So we're not doing very well in clearing the ball. I think we're playing out from the back too much. So we're losing possession in there. That's what I'm seeing here. So looking at the blows blocks, we don't make any blocks. So we're always trying to win the ball back higher up the pitch. So we're not in our defensive third trying to block the opposition from scoring. Not very helpful. We do tackle a lot though, so that's very helpful. You can see that we're close to average in the league when it comes to tackling. Good interception, so that's quite good. We're higher than average in the league when it comes to interceptions. And we are very high when it comes to tackling. So our tackling is good. Tackling or tackles won and tackles attempted are quite good. Interceptions are good as well, but we'll have problems in our clearances and our blocking. So, okay, fouls. We don't really commit a lot of fouls, even though we're tackling a lot. So. We don't really have problem there. So clearances and blocks are where I need to actually go on to fix my tactic. So to induce clearances into your defense, you might want to have a, ball, a defender that is not a ball playing defender in there. So um, I noticed that for most or for better clearances, in, you have to use the no nonsense center back because this player is the one player that his main job is just to stop your position from scoring and clear the ball out of danger when that is required. So that is kind of the person I'm going to go for. So no nonsense centre back on defend DT. His instruction is just to mark tighter. The issue now I have with him is to pair him with the ball playing defender. So I'm going to have another defender here that is probably more creative. And looking at the player that I have here in Moon, Moon is not very good at passing, not very good at anything when it comes to ball playing defender, really. So I'm going to have to tweak his role as well and then ask him to play as a central defender on defend DT. So hopefully this is going to help us be a bit more solid defensively and also have somebody that is clearing the ball out of defense and clearing all the danger away i also have a lot of concern with the defensive line because i noticed that, that sort of helps us in our ability to make clearances and make into um, make clearances and make blocks as well so if your defensive line is so high you don't really have a lot of time to stay, get in position and make the block you're always trying to win possession of the ball so i'm going to have to drop this slightly to standard defensive line and see how 
well this is going to improve our blocks and clearances that's the idea basically i'm not going to touch much of any other instruction much more often yes get stuck in yes everything else even in attack i'm not going to do anything there because there's nothing really wrong with our attack our issues how we are defending the goals even after we've gone on to score them so mentality i'm also going to leave it in attacking so this is going to be the kadoni 442 edibus 442 version what version 2 because it's different from what i just so i can actually tell the difference between two of them so i'm going to create this and call it version 2.0 yeah that should give us some semblance to the original tactic and this will also be suited for lower league teams really so my super keeper on defend duty that's fine and yeah we're going to see how what we do in our next game so we're trying out the new tactic for the first time what i'm looking out for is how well how well we're able to defend against the teams that, or the team that we're playing against how many goals we're going to concede oops chance has gone ah uh, here it is great good clearance that's the first clearance that we've seen so far so we're doing quite well the standard defensive line kind of helps so here it is again here's another attempt at our own goal defense splitting passes oops good defending oh wait is there a penalty anyway let's see what unfolds one nil but one go down we've already conceded here's a corner Ooh, just over the bar Two nil. This is not going well. <laughs> this is not going well at all. Out to Healy. Oh, oh! What the hell? Ford. Out to Conti. Donnelly. Through ball. Easy. Ah, come on, McGovern. Free kick. Could it be? Ah, back off the post. So they've not given us any chance at redemption now. So we're going to see how well we can do go, to go on to tweak this tactic. The attacking mentality isn't really helping at the moment maybe i'm going to switch that to positive for now good interception long ball to mcgovern here it is 1v1 oh he hit the post twice today they haven't given us much to work with really in the second half we've gone on to control the game a lot more but it hasn't been here's a chance mcgovern finally 2-1 10 minutes to go we've controlled the game a lot but we're not able to try to like oh the goal has been disallowed that's just disappointing we're doing quite well but we're not getting the goal so i'm going to stick to these changes that i've made so far and we'll see how well that goes towards the end of the season but i like the changes that i've made even though we actually came off or came on in a one-off game against Porter down we're not doing so well ah there's the goal 2-1 there's still a chance for an equalizer but i'm going to stick to these changes that i've made so far and i'm going to run with that towards the end of the season and if we go on to make more changes i'm going to go on to share that with you towards the ending part of the video but there's the goal so not a bad day at the office against Porter down even though we went on to lose the game we did go on to control most of the game and we played well we were quite unlucky in this game but towards the end of the season we're going to see how that changes or those changes that i've made translates to our results and our defending so we're back here on 15th of february 2023 and i noticed that most of my players are having terrible trading ratings terrible morale which probably means that the season went even worse than it did before so looking at our competition so far we are in the knockout phase this is probably the quarterfinals or round of 16 of the northern irish cup we were runners up in this other one but in the league <laughs> We dropped all the way down to 17 and then we have a goal difference of minus 18. We probably conceded even more despite the changes that I made. So pushing the defensive line back is not going to help. We have to push that up again because I noticed that we were even conceding more goals now than we did before. So I'm going to actually push this to a higher defensive line and then leave everything else as it is. We're going to accept that and we have to now look into key players as to what their problems. I know that most of my players are not really suited to play this tactic like Thielen for example. I don't think he's a very good inverter winger on the left hand side he's a good winger but he's supposed to be the winger on the left with you know like the left side the winger not an inverter winger that's supposed to come inside team cohesion is about average so we're not very bad there but the club atmosphere is terrible so we're going to go into the happiness or sorry team meetings and then try to okay we can't actually have a suitable team meeting at the moment so what i like to do is to lift everybody's spirit at the club but since we can't do that using the team meeting we're going to have to do it individually with all of my players i'm going to start with the most unhappy player of them all there's a player here that is devastated in jamie clark probably because he hasn't been playing too much okay we're playing time yep his playing time is terrible so we're going to have to try to convince him 
to stay at the club or for some reason just start with praising his conduct even though he hasn't been doing so well his attributes are my god his player ability is terrible we're going to try praising conduct first of all and see how that goes on to improve the squad command him thanks boss yada 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 the next i like to do is to look at the club hierarchy and then look at the team leaders in Carville, Maguire and McGovern so we're going to go on to have conversations with them and try to praise them and lift their spirit somehow so go to so after making those tweaks and then also talking to the players and also applying a sort of hands-on approach into the game management i went on to our next game against Donganon and we went on to win the game by four goals to two so for some reason i think my assistant manager wasn't doing a very good job at managing most of our games but we did go on to do well in our next match and we still have to see how that kicks on throughout the end of the season remember player dynamics is quite important so i did go on to speak to some of the players and improve their morale try to um to improve the club atmosphere it was very bad before you can see the red mark and then you can see the green improvement getting into average it was abysmal before and that's where you can see that ghosty red bar and it's increasing his round really short red getting into the green position so you want most of this you want most of this club atmosphere bar to be in the green right in the green that way you're going to get better results club leadership is good team cohesion it could be improved as well but try to get the club atmosphere high up there so you're going to get good results if you get that in the bag so that's going to be my application towards the end of the season we don't have a lot of games left so i think i can use that to have a hands-on approach towards the end of the season rather than simulating the season and then see how well the Oedipus version 2.1 this time there's version 2.0 which has the attacking version and then version 2.1 thanks to Kadoni much much credit to Kadoni for creating this tactic huge shout out to Kadoni and RDF obviously for letting me know about the tactic and Kadoni for creating the tactic it's a very good 4-4-2 tactic for Neary City they're not the best team so we're actually forcing it to work for them I'm going to build something with them but for this tactic you can actually go on to apply with more elite teams more teams in the top divisions and then see how it works out for you I'm going to attach a link in the description to this tactic so you can download it for yourself the original version by Oedipus and the version 2.0 that I created and tweaked and then version 2.1 the difference between version 2.1 and 2.0 is just the mentality but attacking for version 2.0 and then 2.1 the positive mentality and I think the defensive line so not much difference but I'm going to attach a link to the, down, um, to the description so you can download the tactic for yourself and test it out for you so let's see how the game works with the hands-on approach till the end of the season so we're here at the end of the season and this by far has been the most stressful experience I've had playing for Bowman Ninja 2023 for some reason we did get or we didn't go high up in the table like we wanted but we somehow found ourselves in the relegation battle and we came out on top against Love Hall. Love goal, love gal. I'm not really sure how to pronounce this, but it was a tricky affair. We found a way to uh, get a victory in the first leg, and then the second leg was pretty straightforward. A 3 0 home win was enough for us to actually go through and win the competition entirely. So we won the playoffs by five goals to nil on aggregate. And then you can see the club shadow here a lot of defeats, a lot of defeats. And towards the ending part of the season, we went on a four-game winning streak, which was enough to actually see us retain our position in the Danske Premier League. The game against Carrick was a good one. There was a special goal here from my centre-back. How about this for a wonder strike? So I made some tweaks to the tactic, but I ended up using the original version of the tactic to finish off the season. And even though we had most of our mentality, let's say the mentality wasn't attacking, I did go on to retain the standard defensive line and then the high press. And that was enough to actually see us through up until the playoffs this is actually the version that i used for the playoffs to actually get our victory over love girl and this is the other balanced or cautious version of the tactic it wasn't really helpful we still ended up conceding games i'm um, conceding goals and losing games with this version so i wouldn't really recommend that you go to cautious maybe balance this way you should stop but i really i wouldn't really recommend cautious mentality for the system so that's the wrap for how this tactic worked out for new city in the northern irish dance premier league not very well not very competitive but one of the weaker teams so we just managed to somehow stay in the league so we didn't really compete maybe in the next season i'm probably going to try a different system to see if it actually help us to challenge the title but for this time this 4-4-2 system was only enough to keep us in the league and not help or it wasn't enough to actually take us higher up the division i'll probably try a different system for new city to try and help them dominate in the northern irish league i'll be back with more for more manager videos like this if you enjoyed this video remember to leave a like on it and also to subscribe to the channel so you can get notified when more football manager tactic videos do come up here on the channel i'll see you in the next video